Hello everyone, welcome back to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at the Spiderwood Chronicles Chapter 4 of the Ironwood Tree. And we actually get to find out what the Ironwood Tree is. And so it starts off with Jared and Simon getting caught in this beautiful net. It's like these, this silver woven together, and it's just holding them. Of course, they're trying to fight out of it, and they're hitting each other and bonking each other. But then they stop, and they see these three dwarves looking at him. And the dwarves say, um, oh, our leader or king, um, the courting, I think is what they call him, um, he said he would come, and now you've come. They put him into a silver cage, and they wheel the cage deep, deep into these mines. And as they're going, they see all sorts of beautiful things. Um, for one, the dwarf, like one dwarf is wearing the silver bracelet, and it looks like uh, snakes are actually moving around the silver. It looks so good. Another person, I think, is wearing uh, like a gold necklace, and the gold looks so thin and delicate that it looks like it could be a shirt or a cloth. But they see more things. Mechanical birds, statues, jewelry, gems, all sorts of different things. And it's very, very um, beautiful and handcrafted. But it's also a little bit scary as they continue deeper into the maze or mine. They finally get to the uh, courting and um, he says, oh, I forgot the part where they see the ironwood tree. I probably could have had that in there. Um, before they see this guy, they see this beautiful tree that just goes up into the sky. But as they get closer, they realize that it's not a tree, it's actually metal. That the whole tree is made out of metal. The leaves are silver and there's some that are gold and the, the base of the tree might be iron. But it looks just as detailed as a real tree would be. And there's even mechanical birds um, in, the, in the branches of the tree. It's incredibly beautiful. Then they go and they see the courting. And this guy um, says, you know, he, he starts talking about how uh, Mulgarath is going to rule, rule the world. Um, after he gets the Spiderwick Chronicles, he's going to wipe out all the forests. I guess that means no more elves. Mulgarath is going to rebuild everything. He's going to rebuild all the trees, or not Mulgarath, the dwarves are going to rebuild it. And that's going to be one of their um, jobs. And this is all under, like, Mulgarath is going to reign over them and be the king. And so they want the Spiderwick Chronicles. Well, Jared decides to trade for it. Oh, wow, I didn't really write that summary very well. Jared decides to trade for it. He says, okay, I'll give you this book in exchange for my sister. We know it's not the real book. It's just wrapped in a towel. And the Dwarf King says, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. So Jared hands them the book. And, oh, man, I really didn't write good notes on this. Before that happens, their sister comes in. And she just looks like Snow White. Uh, she's in this glass coffin and she looks so beautiful. She has makeup on. She's holding a silver sword. She has like like this wedding dress, really, it kind of looks like. And she looks great, but she also looks dead. She's not dead. She's sleeping. But the dwarves say her beauty will stay like this forever unless she opens it and comes out. And here, Jared trades the book for his sister, and the dwarf says, okay, here's your sister, now take them both to the treasury or to the jail or somewhere. And Jared says, wait, you said you let us go. And he says, no, I didn't. I said I would give you your sister. You didn't bargain for your freedom, and so you guys are trapped here forever. And Jared feels terrible because uh, he acted so s foolishly and um, and he really got captured. And yeah, so he feels really, really bad. The first word is woven. Uh, woven is like knit. Um, strings go across each other and across each other and they become like some kind of bag or shape or shirt. 
they're woven together so they don't break and they hold and that's uh, the net that they're in abruptly means suddenly wait Simon stop abruptly intricate detailed small slithered is like a snake the way a snake moves we call it slither and that dwarves bracelet it looked like it was so the detail was so intricate that it looked like the snakes were actually moving uh, tresses these are um, a kind of part of a clothing it's a very old-fashioned um, description I should have had a picture here sorry I don't um, Google it and you can just see a picture much better than um, explaining it with words ill made means poorly made so as the dwarves look at Simon and Jared they're like oh these guys weren't made very well they didn't choose their clothes very well I'm like mm, I could have made better than this human phosphorus <laughs> That's a pretty big word. Phosphorus is a kind of light. And Jared and Simon, they see whoo, this kind of like fire. Um, if you think of um, a flare, okay, if you go into a cave and you have like an emergency, like kind of light that comes out. It's not like a torch light, but it's this kind of chemical kind of fire and uh, that's kind of the lights that they see in the cave uh, phosphorus is another great word you can google and just kind of see um, stalactites <laughs> that's another um, one that would be a good picture to google is like a I don't there's a difference between a rock coming out of the ground and a rock um, coming coming out of the ceiling um, they have different names. I'm, I'm not a real big rock person, so I don't know. But I believe a stalactite is the kind of that it's not coming out of the ground, but the minerals have built up over time to create this rock-like structure in a cave. Uh, look it up and you can see exactly what it means. But imagine this dwarf cave with these pieces of rock coming out. And the last one on this page is a grotto and that's like this big opening um, in a cave so they're going through these tunnels and then the, whoosh, there's this big opening and there's a bunch of bats that live on the ceilings and so high so the next one because there's even more vocabulary photosynthesis this is the way that plants turn light into energy um, Filigree, <laughs> this is like, um, um, like a bubbly or um, fluffy. Uh, if you think about uh, Simon, Jared, Mallory, <laughs> sorry guys. If you think about Mallory's dress, it looks almost like foam. The the shirt and the fabric is so detailed that it's almost like bubbles or like foam um, it's not like see-through but it just looks so soft and um, comfortable we call that filigree again you can google it and look at a bunch of different designs and that'll give you an idea ornately is another like detailed beautifully decorated with gems and gold frothy is uh, like bubbles um, if you um, pour like soda too fast the bubbles come out we call that froth um, quashed is like squished uh, I think Jared quashed his hopes or ah his regret he felt so bad for lying to the dwarves but he squashed it he quashed it um, and then he he just said oh don't worry about lying to these guys they kidnapped my sister discussion question 
Would you prefer to have an ironwood tree or a real one? Now, of course, the dwarves, they want to go a little bit crazy and cover the whole world in ironwood trees. But can you imagine that? The detail, like perfect trees. In the wintertime, they don't change color. They don't drop their leaves or their branches and, you know, make things kind of dirty on the ground. Um, you know, they're just beautiful forever, just like that. What do you think would be better? Or which one would you rather have, this real tree or this ironwood, gold, beautiful tree? Of course, please make your own discussion question. That's all the time that we have for today, but thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.